Okay, I guess everyone could open their eyes in three. Oh, or. <laughs> Hello my wonderful friends, I hope you guys are doing amazing today. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. I feel like that is so repetitive. You guys probably know who I am and if you don't, I'm Drew from Lone Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very exciting impromptu random video because I drove all the way to my parents' house in Arizona, about five hours from me in Los Angeles, and I'm going to be making over my brother's bedroom this weekend and surprising him on Monday to see his reaction, which is going to be so exciting. He basically went to Las Vegas this weekend for a work trip that he he had to go on and he's going to be coming back on Monday. Now he does know that I'm going to be making over the room. This is not like a full on surprise. He does know that I'm doing it. However, he has no idea what I'm doing to it. My parents are also probably gonna be making a lot of cameos throughout this because I'm gonna need a little bit of help working on this room, of course, but it's gonna be a lot of fun because I've never actually made over like a proper masculine room. I know that sounds so strange, but even when I did my own bedroom, my own room kind of leans a little bit feminine just because I love design. I love interior design and I love pastel colors and florals and just like more feminine elements and I kind of mix them with a little bit of masculine from my space. However, my brother, he definitely wants something a lot more masculine. Um, that's just his vibe. That's what he goes for and that's what I'm going to be giving him today. So I'm excited to actually be doing a more masculine style room on my channel. But before jumping into me sharing with you guys a before of the space, I did want to mention that today's video is so kindly sponsored by Decenio. I have worked with them in the past like five or six times and I absolutely love their art prints and their frames and everything they have to offer over on their website. But I'll be touching on them in just a little bit here, but let's go ahead. I'm going to share with you guys the before of the space and we can get started. I'm outside of the door right now and as you walk in, there are these two doors. There's a bathroom here. It's also accessible from the hallway area and there's also a door, the front door. And I really like these doors. They're super pretty. And then when you walk in this room here, I really like how it has hardwood floors in it. The whole entire house has this tile in it elsewhere. So at least we have the hardwood floors in this bedroom. And as you can see on the left, there is a closet here. So this is like a little makeshift closet you could buy online. It has all of your clothing inside of it. And then there are three windows. And this is the actual window that I was telling you about that kind of pops out in the room. He has a bed here and he wants to keep a twin size bed just because his room is smaller. He says a twin size is totally fine. I was going to update to a full size, but there really isn't much space in here. So we're going to keep the twin size bed. I got him a new mattress as well. He's had this one forever. And then moving over is this little gaming section right here. So this is like a little corner desk. He has all these monitors, a desktop, all that fun stuff. He loves designer brands, so he has these like off-white things. This is an old Balenciaga shirt I gave him, a Supreme shirt I gave him, just a ton of random designer items, and he loves wearing these, but when he's done with them, he like washes them, refolds them, and places them in his collection area. Also some comic books. I have no idea where I want to start in this space at all, so I think I might just want to start pulling some things out and seeing the bones of the room or like the structure that I'm working with, and then go from there. I love how my brother has a baton under his bed. Really, get it good. Okay, the bed is in place and it looks great. Now the mattress has to fluff up for 48 hours. That's why it looks a little wrinkled and not super fluffed. But once it is all fluffed up, it should be really great. The reviews were amazing on it, so I figured it was a good option. Now what I want to do next is I actually want to go ahead and head over to Lowe's because I want to get the curtains installed in here. I really think elevating the rod a little bit and widening them out and then exposing the windows will just transform the space so much. I already have the panels. I ordered them online and they are here ready to go but I do need rod so I'm gonna get one here one for this long window here and then one for this window here I'm at Lowe's right now picking up some paint swatches and I picked up all of these kinds of color tones here greens and navies kind of like lightish colors as well I don't know if I'm gonna go for like a lighter shade like this one or a darker one like that but I'm definitely leaning towards a green or blue color in this room 
Um, so yeah, I got my paint swatches. I also need to get some curtain rods here as well. And I found this really cool industrial kind of pipe rod which matches the bed perfectly. So I think I'm gonna grab a longer one for the wider window and then down here there is um, these smaller ones for the smaller windows. I also found such a great ceiling fan as well, you guys. This was only $99, which I felt was a pretty good deal. It has three blades on it. I've never seen a three-blade fan before. Well, I don't really ever see ceiling fans in general. However, the room definitely needs one, so I'm gonna pick up this one to replace the older one. This morning I woke up to such an exciting package from today's sponsor, Decenio. I've worked with them countless times in the past, and the first thing I could say about this brand is how quickly they ship. Like, they really get your product really fast, which is incredible. Here I am opening the artwork, which is always my favorite part, and I kind of went with like a mixture of random artwork that I knew would look nice on a blue-toned or green-toned wall. So I have this cloud print here, I have a couple of car prints, and I had a vintage radio. This one's another day, another dream. Um, my brother Josh really loves inspirational quotes. He loves jazz music, so I kind of thought that this print as well was really nice. And the great thing about their website is they truly categorize everything so nicely. So here I am looking at some of the best-selling prints, and they just have such a wide variety to match everybody's aesthetic, which I truly do love. And my favorite feature is that you can actually browse so many pre-made gallery walls and actually just purchase straight from those gallery walls or add the entire gallery wall if you want to. So I got a lot of inspo from this over on their site, and I think it's an amazing feature. And the prints are super easy to add to the frame all you have to do is just remove the little plastic from the plexiglass pop in the backing piece and then snap it all together and you are good to go so that's exactly what I'm doing here I truly do believe that Decenio has prints for everybody they have such a vast array of different prints and if you are curious I'm using the black metal frames on this wall just because I really thought that they would add a nice touch of metal first of all to kind of correspond back to the bed and also the curtain rods but also at the same time I thought they would pop nicely on the accent wall so I just built all these frames a gallery wall is such an impactful piece for a space and I definitely think Decenio has you covered on all your prints and frame necessities and they're also giving you guys an incredible discount code. You can get 40% off using code LONEFOX40 at checkout and this offer will be valid until November 26th at midnight so make sure to pick up some prints for yourself or even consider gifting some for the holidays. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of this little makeover. We've already started a little bit. My dad is over here. He's filling in some holes on the wall with some putty because we removed some items from there. And I also wanted to share with you guys that the curtains, I say that word wrong every single time, curtain, curtain. Anyways, you guys know I, I don't know how to say that word, but look how great it looks in the daylight with the windows open. I've never seen this room with the windows open because ever since coming here, um, and my brother always has full on like curtains covering them completely, which is understandable because it gets very, very hot hot and so he just wanted to block out a lot of the light because the sun does really come into this room. I got some rings for the top of these. I'm just gonna say these now and they meet the floor perfectly. Can you guys see how close that is to the floor? Like just a perfect little fix there. I added the rings which just dropped them a couple of inches and that's exactly how I wanted them to look. I wish I could have elevated this rod just a tiny bit more. So I do wanna get the painting done first thing today. That way it could dry throughout the day and then gonna build a couple more of the other furniture pieces. I got a gallon of paint from Lowe's this morning in this green color. I don't know if you could see that. I'm gonna go ahead and tape off some of the walls so that we can start painting, put down some drop cloths and start that process. Alright guys, I have a helper. Wait, you're not filming this right now. Yeah, I am. No, do I look okay? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm here with my mom. Hi. <laughs> okay, what are I You guys, to say? my mom does not like being on camera, but I was like, can you please be in my video with me? And I don't know if you guys remember when I did my mom's bathroom in her old house. Everyone was like, you're talking over your mom. You are so rude to your mom. Blah, blah, blah. Says. And I was like, oh. 
my gosh. Can you just please tell everybody that you're not a fan of being on camera? No, I absolutely do not like this fit. Yeah, so I was just trying to like fill in the blanks if that makes sense. So I wasn't trying to talk over her. She just like didn't want to talk as much as I did, I guess. I guess that's what I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting the walls. I already taped everything off. And yeah, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Mm, I hope it turns out great. <laughs> we hope it turns out great. Yeah, it will. It always does. Well, thanks mom. guys the first coat of paint is done i'm gonna let this dry for probably about an hour or so i can already tell that this wall over here is fully dry which is amazing sorry about the lighting too throughout this video the sun is really affecting like everything there's like light flares everywhere but first paint of coat is all done which i'm so excited about I don't know. All right, guys. Weirdo. Okay, so the uh, paint is dry, not the tape is dry, and we're ready to take off all of the tape. Now, I really hope that it's pretty clean because I have no idea what the original paint color is, so if we don't have anything to touch it up with. How do you feel about that? Not good. <laughs> So the next thing that I actually want to do is go ahead and hang the rest of the curtains up on the rod there. So these are the panels that I got. They're a dark gray color, which I love the color along with the green here. I think it's going to look super, super nice. And the great thing about these panels is that they are heat blocking, but they're also light blocking. So they should regulate the heat in here a little bit. And they also should be light blocking for, of course, when he's sleeping. So all around, I wanted to keep that in mind for this room because it does get super hot in the summertime in here. And it is necessary to have heat blocking curtains because there isn't that much air conditioning in this actual room and there's a fan in here however we just need some heat blocking regulation in here so i'm gonna go ahead hang the rest of these up get those on the wall and then we can move on to the next steps I'm also gonna go ahead and put together the desk that I found. I found this corner-shaped desk, or I guess L-shaped desk at Ikea, and it is just perfect. It is black, and it has these very simple legs, and it's also adjustable, which is really nice. So I'm gonna pop this over in the corner. It's a bit larger than the prior desk, but it really fits perfectly, and will allow perfect amount of space for all of those monitors and computer items. What are you doing under there? Desk is in, and this desk is actually pretty massive. I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring some of the computer items back into here to put on top of the desk. I'm thinking the wardrobe will go here. It actually will fit perfectly right there. Stopping at Target. Found these little brass nightstands, which are kind of cute. They're like little accent tables, and there's two of them left here. I like the idea of adding a little bit of warmth with the brass in there and kind of changing it up because everything at the moment is black. So yeah, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Um, I'm also looking for a rug. Those are like the main kind of pieces I'm looking for. This is kind of cool too, this wooden one. Kind of fun. Oh my gosh, and you guys, they have these really cute, I believe these are the Magnolia, or sorry, the Studio McGee chairs. 
These are so freaking cute. I do want an accent chair in there so badly. I think it would add such a nice little touch. All right, guys, we don't only have one cart full of items. There is also a huge accent chair over here, a comforter, I have this basket in my hands, and I have a couple of bedding options. The only thing I still have not found is a rug because the bed's oriented in a wrong way, so I basically need a five by eight, and at Target, they only sell five by seven. So I'm gonna go attempt to hunt down a five by eight rug because I really think this room needs a rug for sure. Um, but this is everything I'm getting at Target at the moment, and then we'll head back home. Good morning guys, it is day three of the transformation, the last and final day. Josh is actually coming home later on tonight. Hopefully he will be home before the sun sets because I would hate to have to show him this room at nighttime. I think he will be though. He said he's gonna be home around four-ish, which should be good. I do have a couple of updates for you guys of things that I did last night because I was just needing to do a lot of stuff last night. Basically, my dad came in, he set up all Josh's computer stuff on the desk here. I think I actually might take the computer tower and put it underneath just because that's where it was before and also, so my dad installed the fan, which looks incredible. He said it was really simple too, which um, is great. He took down the old one, which was just so outdated and just like very rustic and not the vibe in here and installed this really incredible one. And it comes with a remote, which I thought was super nice. So you can control it from the remote. I went to Target last night and bought a ton of decor. I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to DIY that much in the space, but it was just such a quick, quick turnaround. However, do not worry. I'll have more room makeovers, more DIY projects coming up very, very soon. I also laid out all of the Decenio artwork right here, which is gonna go up on the wall today. I'm not sure which one. And last thing to update you guys on is that I built the entire Ikea closet system, which that will be brought in in a little bit. When my dad gets home, we're gonna wheel it in. Um, I wasn't able to bring it in myself, so I'll be bringing that in here. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's get to work. Um, and this room is coming along amazing, so let's get started. Now Josh has a projector that projects on one of the walls in his room. It used to be the one that I then painted green, so now it's converting over to this one when you walk in on the left side. So I decided to take his little DIY bookshelf situation and construct it into like a little media unit on the bottom half. That way the projection can go on top of this, but I'm still able to style some decor on here and all of his like keepsake items and all of his pieces that he likes to wear. I'm going to put them all on here and kind of style it up. And of course you guys know I had to pick up the accent chair. So this is gonna go over on the left corner, kind of by the console and in between the bed there. And I'm also popping the little nightstand back there with a lamp on top. This can act as a nightstand or just a side table for the chair as well. But I love this pop of brass and I think that the chair adds a really cozy vibe. little update for you guys. So I already went ahead, I added in the chair over here and then I built this little system right here which Josh had prior. He had it like very long wise up here which I also added the closet and I added these super cute little ceramic knobs from my online store. These are the Danica knobs. I'll link them below for you guys. I just thought they were a little bit more fun and kind of matched the vibe of the room than the black like plastic ones it comes with. And then I also added the Decenio art which honestly this is just such a focal point of the room. I absolutely love how that artwork looks. Of course, there's still a ton of stuff over here I need to get rid of, bring back in the desk chair. The fan looks incredible in here as well. I am just so happy with how everything's turning out. And then there really isn't much else to do. I have a mirror to hang um, and a couple other small things and it should be done.
When it came to styling the bed, I really wanted to give it almost the look of a day bed because this bed is kind of in the middle of the room, underneath a window. It seems kind of like a couch should be here. However, it is a bed. So I kind of wanted to give it the illusion of a couch slash bed mixture, if that makes sense. And then I also popped this little basket over in the corner and a mirror on this wall right when you walk in. This is a really cute one I found at Target. It has like a rattan frame to it. I saved this wall hook from my online store. Sadly, it's fully sold out at the moment, but it's a little sloth and Josh is obsessed with these. So I thought this would be a perfect little wall hook to put right by the mirror, like right here-ish to hang a backpack or jacket on um, when just walking out the door, you know? So I'm gonna hang this up to the right of the mirror. The room is completely finished. It's only two o'clock right now, which is way earlier than planned. I thought I was gonna be finishing right around the time that he actually got here. It's only two, then I'm gonna share it all with you guys as well. It looks so, so good, and I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I'm so excited, so stay tuned. It is about two hours later, it's about 4 p.m. Josh just got home right now, and I decided that instead of doing my parents separately and Josh separately, I would just do everyone at once because I wasn't really sure how I was gonna incorporate that into the video. So I'm going to reveal the room to everyone, my mom, dad, and brother all at once. I'm gonna have to be holding the camera, so I'm not gonna be in the shot. Uh, I never do reveals, so I don't really know how to do these, but I hope that just getting the reaction will be okay for you guys. And then of course, I'm going to film some really high quality clips once the sun goes down and sets a little bit. But I'd like to just show everyone now, rather than having to to wait like another hour or two for the sun to actually set properly. So let's go ahead and grab them and see the reaction. Okay, everyone can come in, but you guys have to cover your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is <laughs> such a weird sight. Okay, I guess everyone can open their eyes in three. Oh, or. <laughs> open your eyes. Okay, open your eyes in three, two, one. Oh. Uh, And you can see the arches now. Oh, this is chic. Oh, Isn't that chic, Josh? That's chic. Yeah. That's so much better. Isn't that good? Oh, look at the desk. The room is a lot bigger now, too. Even with the chair. The, cable, oh. the cables are stuck under there. Oh, that's cool. Me and Dad really put them underneath oh, there. that's cool. Oh yeah, I reuse that, Josh. Yeah, yeah. I re I just made it long. That way you could project the TV up yeah. on this wall, which I know, guys, it's hard to see, but all um, the projectors here and it projects over on this wall here. Unless you have a chair to sit in, which you would think here it looks What's super good. It does not look too cluttered. That's for the fan. Oh, I redid the fan too, Josh. Oh, yeah. It's not good. Yeah, it looks good. All this like black all comes together. Can I open it? Yeah, yeah, you can open it. Oh, well, that's nice. cool because it's all organized like that. Yeah. And look like, at all the room. It's so much better. It's better than, than my old one. Everything yeah. is. That looks I don't so have to worry good. about my desk falling apart now. Oh, and I like the uh, pillow too. He got one jazz day that's like you. Isn't that and good? And you like and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. I think yeah, it's good and fresh. You did a really good job, Drew. Thank you. And you. This is so cool. Jimmy's yeah, already cool. asleep. Oh, you really uh, like my rug. This Thanks, is really Drew. Cool. Yeah, you did a really good job. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, so that is this entire room makeover. I'm literally blocking everyone complete, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope Josh likes it as well. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yay, and then um, whenever Josh moves out in the future, this can be converted into an office, or I think it's just gonna be the guest bedroom, right? It's not yep. gonna really be an office. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in a second when I'm back home, and Jim Yay. and Vicky say bye too. Bye! I'm back home now, and I hope that you guys enjoyed that room makeover. It was such a fun space to actually make over. I really like the shape of that room, and I love the windows, so I really wanted to highlight those. It was kind of a challenge, though, because I really only had about two and a half days to complete it, and especially when the sun sets at, like, 4.30 now, it's kind of challenging to film and get everything done in the daylight. My brother, I think he loved it as well. I actually saw him post this really cute photo on his Snapchat story, um, which I'll post right here for you guys. He basically was like, I love my window, which I thought was quite nice. He posted that a couple days after I left, so clearly he's like, his room, I believe. And do not forget to also check out Decenio where you can get 40% off of all of your art prints until November 26th at midnight. So make sure to take advantage of that using code LONEFOX40 at checkout. I'll link them below at the top of the description box. And I will catch you guys all in my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!